Hello home cooks, welcome to another classic recipe with its influencers. Eggs Benedict are the staple of the breakfast meals. Rich in flavor and in calories, they are the best way to start your day. And today I'm going to show you how to make them the right way. The most important part of the Eggs Benedict is the Hollandaise sauce, which is so simple to make using my extremely foolproof method. To start, we need a small saucepan in which we will add some freshly cracked black peppercorns, one small chopped shallot, two tablespoons of white vinegar, and one third of a cup water. Put it on a medium heat and bring it slowly to a boil to reduce it. While this is happening, we are going to chop our spinach, and I can already see the comment section screaming, there is no spinach in Eggs Benedict. No, of course there is no spinach in Eggs Benedict, but since we are making Eggs Benedict, we might as well make some Eggs Florentine, because the only extra ingredient is spinach. So go ahead and roughly chop up about two handfuls of spinach and also a couple of fresh onions. Keep the white onion part separate from the green part. Lightly oil the surface of a non-stick pan over medium-high heat. Add your fresh onions, some freshly ground pepper, and a pinch of salt. Give it a little stir, enough to mix the salt and pepper, and add all the spinach at once. Spinach is 80% water, and we want most of this water to evaporate, so keep stirring until most of the water is gone. Out of the two handfuls of spinach, we are left with about one cup. Cover it up and let it rest. Next up, it's time to prepare our buns, and for this recipe I'm using the same brioche buns I saw you in our last episode. Cut them horizontally in two pieces, and it's up to you if you want them toasted or not. Going back to our vinegar reduction, you should have about two tablespoons of liquid left, which is more than enough for the sauce. Using a fine sieve, separate the solids from the liquid, because we only need the liquid. In another saucepan, put 350 grams of pure unsalted butter and melt it over high heat. Just before it reaches the boiling point, remove it immediately. Timing here is important. Set up your blender machine and add the vinegar reduction. Add 4 egg yolks, a pinch of salt and pepper and turn it on at the lowest speed possible. Slowly start adding the melted butter. The residual heat is enough to safely cook the egg without having the danger of overcooking them to an omelette. The Hollandaise recipe I will have in the description is going to be precise, so when you add all the butter, it should be ready. Give it a taste and adjust the seasoning you are liking. Now it's time for the difficult part, the poached egg. Grab a large enough pot to hold at least 4 cups of water and bring it to a boil. Turn the heat to low, add a pinch of salt, some freshly ground pepper and 2 tablespoons of vinegar. Give the water a swirl and gently drop one whole egg right in the center. The fresher the eggs, the better the outcome. Leave it undisturbed for 3 minutes for a perfect runny yolk. After a couple of eggs, the water will become murky and it will be harder to get things right, so it's best to restart with new water. Now that we have everything ready, it's time for assembly. Start with your buns, toasted or not, layer on top of each one a couple of slices of smoked ham, and if you're going for eggs floridine, now is the time to add your spinach. Otherwise, just go straight for the poached egg. Add some freshly ground pepper, and finally, pour your hollandaise sauce directly on top. Garnish however you like, and you are ready to taste one of the most iconic dishes of this century. If you have done everything right, you should have something like this. This was my take on the original classic Eggs Benedict and Eggs Floridine. I hope you have enjoyed this recipe and the video. If you have any questions and or comments, be sure to post them in the comment section and I'll get right back at you. Until next time, thank you all for watching.